Let's get right to it. Back in 2012, the Harvard Business Review declared data scientists the sexiest job of the 21st century. Mathematicians called data scientists, mostly from academia, were going to take over real-world data analytics. Yeah, it's not what happened, is it? Unfortunately, millions of companies took the bait, and it collectively cost them billions. The truth is, most from academia are ill-qualified to work with real-world data. They have very little to no technical acumen. In the information technology world, we call this technical debt. As a matter of fact, I authored a post about this years ago. I'll put a link to that post so you can read it. The entire point of the post is in bold. I noted that Andrew Ng was one of the ones responsible for putting millions of people in academia in real-world jobs they weren't qualified for. Again, what we call technical debt. Here's the Harvard Review trying to place the failure of data scientists on corporations. Just check out the title. The sexiest job of the 21st century is tedious and that needs to change. Yeah, sure it will. Check out that fourth paragraph. This is a direct quote. In other words, most of the time was spent turning data into usable form rather than looking for insights. So, it's nice to see the hard review agrees with me. Most real-world machine learning is data cleansing. I've been saying that and writing about that for the last decade. Here's some more bad news for the hard review and for everyone else for that matter. Companies are not going to change. Let me tell you what's been changing over the last five years and will continue to change for the foreseeable future. Companies are going to hire software engineers called machine learning engineers. These are professionals who are skilled with working with real-world data. And they're going to do away with the data science role almost completely. Now you may be thinking, how can you be so sure? Simple, because before data science exploded onto the scene, business intelligence professionals were already doing the work. I was working on BI projects long before the data scientist title even existed. So were millions of other highly skilled data people. This is the direction data science is heading. Why is that? Two core reasons. Number one, model democratization. The world's best models for most real world projects already exist. Number two, data cleansing is 80% or more of the job of a machine learning engineer, a skill far more data professionals have than any data scientist does. Now, this seems to upset people. It shouldn't. I'm not the one that lied to you about the data science role. I'm the one helping you understand what's going to happen in the real world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day.